All right, guys, welcome back to the latest JC tutorial. Today, again, we are back with the S61. We're going to go ahead and cover the basics in the mission equipment, as well as medical and the water systems for this aircraft. Okay, we're going to start with mission specific equipment. We're going to come on into the cabin. Okay, first things to note with the larger of the SureGood aircraft is the onboard system. You can see I'm laying down here, but if I want to move about the cabin, all I have to do is click where I want to go and I will move about the cabin whether the aircraft's in flight or not. Okay, if I want to go ahead and mount any one of these seats, I can click on these seats and I will go ahead and mount, get out. Here you can see the benches. If I want to go ahead and sit in a bench and click on the back portion of the bench and you'll move that spot. Um, come off the bench and then clicking on the bottom part of the bench, you can go ahead and fold it. Okay, moving back into the back before we cover the winching system, you have the upper stretcher. Okay, the upper stretcher has several medical systems with it. All right, your patient can click on there and set their health information as what they want, which corresponds to our uh, Kelly scope okay, for heart rates. Okay, so right now we're going to go ahead and set a normal rhythm. And we're going to go ahead and turn on. And we're going to go ahead and attach the leads by clicking on those things. Here, here. There's our normal rhythm. All right. There are several different rhythms. Okay, as you can see, we have a rhythm here, which you would have to go consult with the sure good medical system. You can go ahead and come up with which ones are shockable and which ones are not efficient with Okay, looking at our read here, this is stressed. So what we're gonna do for stress, we're gonna go ahead and give oxygen. Okay, click on the oxygen tank here. We'll give oxygen, oxygen patient over time will help calm the patient. Get your patient nice and relaxed while you are transporting the patient back to the medical facility. Some of the other ones we have is the AFib, BFib, Flatline. Two of these are shockable, the third one is not. The AFib and the BFib are shockable, the Flatline is not. You can give IV fluids oxygen to a flat line to give IV fluid to go ahead and click here to hang the IV bag and go from here. To demonstrate this we're going to go ahead and put in BFib. Here's BFib. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and attach the paddles. We're going to set currently set to 100. We're going to charge. Rhythm. the paddles. The patients are in oxygen. Okay. Now, if we were offloading the patient but unable to land, say we're offloading onto a ship that we can't get to, or hospital, we have a helipad, we need to transfer the patient down to our basket by clicking the basket. Switch, the patient will be moved to the basket. Okay, from this position, the basket can be loaded onto the winch and lowered down. Alright, so with that covering the medical system, we're going to go ahead and move to the winching system. Alright, we're going to go ahead and stand up and we're going to take our position at the door. By clicking on the door, we will assume position. Here, hoist control master has to be on crew in order for the crew position to use the control points. If it's not, the pilot will control the hoist. So, right. 
right here at the door, we have our voice controls on this side. We have two attachables here. We have a basket, a Stokes basket, and we also have a penetrator in the back. Alright, so moving up here to the first one, the orange bag, very much similar to the C135. It's our fast rope. Okay, by clicking on the rope, we will assume a position to go ahead and begin rappelling down until you get to wherever you need to go. Alright, go back into the helicopter here. And I'm going to return to the helicopter. Get myself back into our position. There you go. To remove any attachment that you have, we're simply going to click the hook and we'll remove the attachment. The yellow basket is going to be our single harness. Okay, while on board and the system, the onboard system, when you're clicking to move, if I were to click the harness, I will assume the position of the harness, click back in the helicopter, I will go back into the helicopter. Okay, for those of you that are rescuing people, when you bring them up, you can tell them to go over into the stretcher, onto the aircraft, and then into the stretcher. the Stokes basket, we can also go ahead and apply a harness as well. We can have a harness and a patient transported at the same time. This control right here will move your attachment wherever you have. So down here right there, that's the neutral position. Anything on the right side, working up, left side, Still. Likewise, while you're in mouse look mode, page up and page down will also control your harness regardless of the motions are set. Alright. Close those back in. The last item we have is the penetrator. Alright, the penetrator is used to get people down or out of forested areas. Okay, it's just a very heavy object that will push past limbs. You get mounted by sitting on it. And the control will work exactly the same. Control, down at the level, back up. Here on the door we have a set of stairs, which we can put down for 
start mounting and dismounting the aircraft. And we also have our swimmer platform that we can sit here somewhere to sit on for mounting and dismounting while the aircraft is parked in the water, which we will demonstrate now. Use the autopilot system, bring the aircraft down to about five feet, and put it into the water. aircraft is fully sitting in the water at this point. Okay, so with the aircraft in the water, we can now deploy both our bilge pump and our anchor. This is the anchor, and once the aircraft's in the water, we deploy the anchor, as you see here, the anchor will deploy and give you some resemblance of security to keep your aircraft from drifting around. Because this is a flying boat, Okay, the aircraft has a bilge section that fills it with water. Sometimes we need to pump that water out. Okay, this box up here is our bilge pump. Go ahead and attach it. Very similar to the pre-flight video. Use the pump handle to remove any water from the aircraft. Place the bilge. that back in the box you can also deploy and store it from this box and you can put the anchor to recover the Alright, that does cover our mission specific equipment on board the aircraft. Since we're here, we haven't played with it all that much. Back here is our ramp control. We have two sets of ramps. You have the lower and the aft ramp here. Sorry, forward and aft ramp. So if I go ahead turn on the ramp panel. Okay, ramp panel has to have power right here. We can choose who has control over it. If it's the pilot or it is the crew in the back. You see the ramp forward light is lit because I left that switch on, which will again deploy the ramp. And we can send the other ramp down as well. You can have any configuration you prefer of the ramp. The aft open, the front open, the aft closed, the front open. Any combination of it with the aircraft and it'll function just properly. As far as water taxiing the aircraft, really is the same as ground taxiing the aircraft. Add some collective power, nice and gentle controls with your pedals to make any turns that you need while the aircraft is floating. All right, make sure you tune in for some of our future videos uh, dealing with the maintenance of the aircraft, which is a really great system. That should be the next one in the playlist. Always blue skies.